My name is Dr. Gladys Ayala. I am the Vice Chancellor for uh, New York Medical College Wide Student Affairs, responsible for all the student support services on campus. Uh, and I'm also the Senior Associate Dean uh, for Student Affairs in the School of Medicine. I'm glad you all came out because uh, we are going to introduce to you a whole new student information system and portal, um, a process that has taken two years in the making. Uh, and we are going to be going live very soon. And so it will impact your lives while you're a student at New York Medical College. So what I'd like to do to introduce to you um, David Rabb, who is the Executive Vice President of Turo College and University System. Uh, we are a member of the Turo College System. Uh, and so all of the Turo Colleges will be going in live with this uh, new system and portal. He's also accompanied by uh, Mr. Matthew Benilla, um, who is the Vice President of Student Administrative Services for Turo College and University Systems. And today we're going to present the, the system, uh, where, how we got here and uh, when it's going live and how it's going to help students and faculty here on campus. Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, I know you all kind of sat in back, but it's not a class. I'm not going to call on you. Uh, <laughs> Uh, I just want, I, I'm really delighted to be here. I'm delighted that, uh, um, to have the opportunity uh, and to be hosted by New York Medical College and to have an oppor opportunity to speak with you. We have been going around, uh, Matt Benilla will be speaking to you later. I'm just the warm-up act. Uh, Matt Benilla and I have been going around to the various campuses around the Turo system, uh, introducing the new student module that's going to be coming out live starting at the beginning of April and then and being implemented over the next few months. And we're delighted to be here today to explain uh, this to the New York Medical College uh, student body as well as uh, faculty because I think everybody is going, to be, um, is going to be very affected by this but hopefully pleased by it as well and Matt will actually show you some screenshots of what the new system is going to look like. And I believe it was demoed actually last week to uh, a student group uh, who, who really were very pleased and thrilled with it. So I'm hoping that, that we'll be able to get that uh, excitement and enthusiasm out here as well. Um, so what is, the system is being called Turo One. You may have heard Banner. Uh, you may have the PeopleSoft system now. Turo One is our system. It is a system that's being used across a Turo uh, college and university system at every campus and I'll talk a little bit about how we actually have gotten to this point but in fact we uh, this has been as Dr. Ayala said a 22 month project actually I think we're about 18 months into it we have another few months to go we started by implementing a whole new financial system which a lot of people here have used already uh, people faculty have gotten uh, and then and then we put in in January uh, of this year a new HR and payroll system through which people have been putting in their timesheets and uh, been paid and now in April we're going to be doing the, uh, the student system. So I just want to start, I'm not going to harp on this too much, but I just want to let you know, to reassure you, that this is not just a Turo initiative, this is a New York Medical College initiative as well. The New York Medical College administration, Dr. Halpern, Dr. Kadish, uh, the New York Medical College board, everyone from the day we, Turo uh, and New York Medical College joined together, ever since then, there was a recognition that there were real synergies to be achieved both academically and operationally between the institutions. And both boards and both administrations have really kind of been hoping that 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 we would move forward on that. So Turo One is one of the things that came out of that hope to try and make things work better, not only for across the system, but even within New York Medical College. Some of the key objectives. So when we, a few months, about two years ago, when we first started this project, or before we started the project, and I'm not gonna go into all the details because a lot of it doesn't apply to too many of you, but we found that there were multiple operational administrative systems here. There was one financial system, which was archaic and was not going to be supported much longer by the vendor. We found PeopleSoft as a student system, an HR system. 
We found a financial aid system that was separate and distinct. And we found multiple learning management systems in the uh, School of Medicine, uh, Graduate School of Basic Medical Sciences, and School of Health Science and Practice. And what we said was that these systems don't talk to each other very well. And as I said, some of them are archaic and not being, uh, may not be supported in the future. And we are not able to serve our students and faculty well because sometimes the data from this system doesn't really get over into that system or we had to create special routines that would take this out and, and we'd have to run it uh, from this system and put it into that system. And what we wanted to do for the whole Turo system and for New York Medical College was to put in place a single state-of-the-art integrated administrative system where the minute you register for a course, you're already, your data has been shifted already to the learning management system. Your, uh, your account, your bill is automatically updated so that you can pay it right away, intent. Um, that you could apply for financial aid online and accept financial aid and that that financial aid would be reflected in your bill automatically. We wanted everything to work seamlessly. And we wanted it to try to work with a single sign-on, which basically means you sign on once and you have access to everything within that and you don't have to sign on to different systems. The holistic chart of accounts, I'll skip about because that's about finance, but we also wanted streamlined processes. We really wanted things to work much more simply. There was a lot of manual effort that needed to go on here. Sometimes you sent to the registrar's office and then to the financial aid office and then you go to the bursar and then you come back to the registrar and then you go to... We wanted to get rid of all of that and make it really streamlined so that you could do everything real easily. And we wanted you to be able to do it nonstop. That's a concept that we are promulgating in the student services area. Basically what it means is we want you to be able to focus on your studies, and on having fun in life or whatever else you do in life. We don't want you to have to worry about or focus on or spend a lot of time on registering and applying for financial aid and going from one office to the other office. We want you to be able to do all that administrivia whenever you want, from wherever you want, on whatever device you want. That is really the objective. And I think we're getting there. I think we're going to be pretty close to it uh, in what we're about to uh, in show you. We wanted enhanced services to employees. Um, we wanted integration with Blackboard Learning Management System, which basically means the second you register, uh, you have access to your learning management system uh, data. And we want enhanced advised, advisement capabilities. But we want to enhance the ability of of students to know the minute they walk in the door here what they have to take in order to graduate X years from now and to be aware of here are the things I must take here are the electives I can take and to be able to work with their advisors very closely in planning their career path their, their studies path that relates to the career their careers obviously uh, so I think we're, we what we have what we are putting in place will have that ability and I, I we're very excited about it. And enhanced reporting that, uh, that we are uh, hope uh, to have. Again, I'm not going to go into all of this, but basically what I, I just want to give you the magnitude of this. New York Medical College had multiple systems that didn't talk to each other. Turo had multiple systems that didn't talk to each other. And I think the last two bullets are really very important. Um, we have, Turo had a lot of campuses that grew up kind of independently, not going to the whole history of Turo. Um, California campus, our Nevada campus, our law center, everybody for a long time was basically told, go forth and prosper. And so a lot of, a lot of the uh, schools grew, uh, grew in a silo, but, uh, and, and New York Medical College clearly had a 150 year history had its own way of doing things, but, but I th the management and the boards of both schools' systems um, decided that, you know, we really want to try and do things as operationally efficiently as possible. 
So the first part of this project actually was getting teams from around the entire Turo system, including New York Medical College, to sit down and say, okay, this is how we've done X. This is how we've registered. This is how we've done financial aid. This is how we've uh, done payroll uh, in the past. And they all came to an agreement before we started a touch of programming. They came to an agreement about what is the best way to do this going forward? What's the best way for our students? What's the best way for our faculty? What's the best way for our staff? And amazingly, and I, I, this really is an amazing and a credit to all the people who worked on this, they actually did come to agreement. Now there are nuances where, they, where there need to be nuances. New York Medical College clearly has its history and clearly has certain needs that, that were, have, to, have been and were accommodated. But I would say for the most part we are starting to do things the same way, the best way. Because part of what we did was we looked at best practices. We looked around the country and tried and find the best practices that are being used out there and incorporated into the way we do that because we want to do the best for our schools. So we went through a process, I won't go through the whole background again, but we went through a very rigorous process to see what system would work for the entire Turo College University system as well as the individual schools. And we chose Banner by Aleutian. And I'm going, that's, this is probably going to be one of the last times I'm going to say the word banner. Banner is a shell uh, of a product that is created by Lucian, which the schools have to configure to their own needs. And our team, our implementation team, uh, really took those best practices that I just talked about, it, uh, talked about and translated it into banner, creating what we are calling Turo One. But Elucian actually supports 1,500 educational institutions around the country. It is committed to this product. It is committed to Turo. They are very aggravated by Turo and how much we've pushed them, but pleased by Turo because we have helped them think forward in terms of our own demands and our own desires to do more with their products. So it's been a very good relationship, uh, and I think, I think they're going to they're going to take a lot of what we want in terms of moving the product forward. I just wanted to say once again, I mentioned the project team. It has been a terrific an effort, a tremendous effort. If you think about taking all student data from beginning of time uh, and putting it into the new system and cleaning it up and making sure that it's accurate and taking all personnel data and all financial data, it's a tr it was a tremendous effort and in co codifying the system, making it work the way we want it to work, was a tremendous effort. And the Turo team generally worked spectacularly, unbelievably well as a team, put in tremendous hours. But here at New York Medical College, it was a particular challenge because while we, while we were doing all this, the same people, or many of the same people, were getting ready for the LCME visit, which was also successful. And so my hat goes off, my yarmulke goes off to, uh, to everyone uh, here at New York Medical College. They are listed here on this list. These are the New York Medical College people who were part of the team. Uh, I want to point out that Michael Raghavan and Ben Watson were members of the steering committee uh, as well. And these were members of the team. And they deserve a tremendous round of thanks. And I would like them to please stand up for a second and get everybody's applause and appreciation. <laughs> so with that, I, uh, with that introduction, that's kind of the, uh, the context and the background. And with that, now you're going to really see what you're going to get. For starters, I want to reiterate what David said, um, and especially near and dear to my heart, is the student team here, um, who I can honestly assure you, from a faculty perspective, from a student perspective, they have been fighting on your behalf every second of the day, 24 hours a day for the last two years, to make sure that you have a product that you can be proud of, uh, and that you have a product that will make your lives a whole lot easier. At a very, very, very high level, we're out to accomplish one thing, very simply. We want to provide the best service of any institution in the country. 
Now, as an, as an institution, we have, a, we have a ways to go in terms of competing across the nation in terms of service. But we believe that this system will put us in a position to, to grow, to continuously get feedback from students, faculty, and staff, and to build something that we feel will differentiate us across the country as a number one service provider uh, in all of higher education. Anytime, anywhere, access to your information. Now, that's something that in this day and age, everyone requires, whether you're going to an airline app or um, you're dealing with a credit card or any type of customer service business, you require the ability to be device agnostic and the ability to communicate when and when you want, where you want, with, with whomever you want. Another thing that we're trying to do system-wide um, is break down barriers between units. When you have questions about admissions or about financial aid, registrar, bursar, you have a question. You don't think about an individual department. So what we're trying to do is break down all those barriers across the system between individual departments and just answer your questions. Or in many cases, if you have multiple questions, kind of gather up the answers to those questions and get back to you in an expedited fashion. From your perspective, how is this going to really Im impact you? Um, and I have, to, I have to thank some of the folks up front who helped me with some of these slides. They say the number one biggest item that's going to affect your life is having everything under one roof. So you're going to have your library resources, your various LMS systems, Blackboard, LCMS Plus, Moodle, the ePortfolio system that you guys have, and the new innovations um, tool that you guys use. It'll be all in one portal. And over the course of time, we are working as a system to try to automate and to try to put single sign-on in place so that eventually you'll use one code for everything. That's going to take us some time to get to, uh, but at least on day one, everything will be in one location. And I think when we show it to you, you're going to be really impressed what it looks like, and I think you're going to be really relieved. From a student perspective, how be able to go to a single location to see your class schedule, to be able to request an academic transcript, to be able to update information and actually interact with inter information rather than just updating your contact information. Some of you, depending on who you are, what programs you're in, some of you will be able to register online. Some of you will be able to add and drop courses online without having to talk or deal with anyone. From a student's accounts perspective, someone told me once that you actually have to physically come to campus to, um, to actually hand in checks. You'll have a complete online billing suite where you can handle it wherever you are. We'll get into details about that. From a financial aid award perspective, I know working with Tony, he's tried to provide the best customer service possible, but with this tool, we'll be allowed to package faster in that Aleutian and Banner gives us the actual uh, criteria and the compliance aspects of um, every year's updates faster than any other system out there. So we can get you this information faster. We're also wor working from a budget perspective to try to get things moving forward so that we can put things together for you faster and that we can process you in a way that you um, be comfortable with. From an NYC publication standpoint, once we get into the portal, it's very important to know that whether you're a student or a faculty member, that you'll be able to have information that's specific just to your population. So students and groups could have one, um, faculty council, faculty senate, they could have a notes and information that's posted that just faculty can see. So that's something you've never really had here before in that regard. This is a little look at what, uh, what, it, will, what it will look like. As you can see here, we have your learning management systems all lined up here. We have your, your schedule. Um, it's all very smooth. It's all very uh, intuitive. And, and also, it's also for New York Medical College. Across the system, each of the campuses has their own with the information that's specific to them. Um, from a registration perspective, can you imagine just logging into a system and being able to easily look up your courses, add or drop classes, um, uh, looking up the course catalogs and, and the holes in a very easy, um, seamless fashion? I think that's something that's going uh, to make a, a lot of difference uh, and hopefully save you a lot of time. As you can see, um, from this particular view, you come in, you can see everything to do with viewing your grades. Um, you can view your test scores. You can see the individual aspects of your program. You can request transcripts. Um, you can see everything that you would need to see um, from a perspective of a service perspective in that you have your library resources, you have OASIS, um, and, and, and all your academic support units. It's very clean. It's very simple. Again, 
I mentioned before we talked about finance. Uh, you can see TouchNet up there. TouchNet will allow you to go in online at any time and set up payment plans. And when your payment plans are updated or you make a payment, it will update your system in real time. We're working very, very closely between the registrar's office, the bursar's office, and financial aid to make sure everything happens at once so that your actual bills look very streamlined, very clean, and very easy to understand. So you don't have to waste a lot of time on those uh, particular items. From a financial aid perspective, I know that in the past you've had various systems that you used to go into. Uh, we're only taking the first step here where you'll be able to go into the system, you'll be able to accept and decline your aid, you'll be able to understand what the, what the individual awards are for. But as we continue to grow um, and, and, and grow into Banner as a whole, um, you'll be able to eventually scan documents. So you won't have to deliver paperwork to the financial aid office. You can do it from home and never actually have to come here if you don't want to. Um, from a 1098T perspective, I know that the, the, the Toro uh, system uh, was taking a ton of phone calls on being able to get the 1098T. Now we can go in here, we can click on it, and we can get our 1098Ts. This is a, the financial aid tab. The reason we showed it is because we want to show how clean it was. You can see your award, your eligibility, your status, the, the federal shopping sheet, and then you can email us right from within here to, uh, to ask any questions that you might have. From a faculty perspective, your lives are going to improve as well. Class rosters, you're going to have real-time access reflecting up to the minute ad drops. So it's very important that, um, that you actually know who's in your class. So if someone adds or drops, you will know it in real time. My understanding is that there's paper uh, rosters now, so that's going to be a dramatic improvement. And I'll show you some screens on how easy it is to get to that information. Grade entry, again, my understanding that is a paper process now. You will in the future be able to do it anytime, anywhere via automated submission, which is a, which is a big deal. That's, if you're a faculty member, you have to like that. Um, office hours, within your portal as a faculty member, it will allow you to adjust your office hours so that anyone taking your class on any of the various classes that you teach, it will update it in the student's portal. So you change your office hours in one place, and it permeates and updates in all of your students' classes so they know where they can find you when, when your office hours are. Um, the faculty schedule is also in there. And again, we should start to build from the ground up publications, such as faculty senate notes or other things that you guys might be interested in. And the great thing about starting now is we can start at the, at the grass level. So we can build this however you want going forward. On April 4th, we're going to start with the bare minimum. But again, this is a whole idea to have this evolve over time. From a faculty member's perspective, if you look over here, you see some classes. This is how it will uh, look in terms of my classes. Right here is your class roster. You just simply click on that. You'll see everybody in your class. Over here, you just click on that. You put in your grades right there. And then over here is all the details as it pertains to your class. And real, right over here where there's a little email envelope, you can actually mass email everyone in your class from right there or select individuals from your roster that you can uh, email individually. I feel that that's a nice improvement as well. We've got a quick helpful link tool here about how to set your office hours and, uh, and, how, to, and how to handle grades. Um, and again, you'll be able to go right into your LMS depending on which one you use for which program. Um, they're all in there as of, as of uh, right now. But as you can see, it's, it's very clean, it's very easy to understand, and it's all, in, uh, it's all in one place. Folks here that are advisors, how many, how many advisors are in the room? Anybody an advisor? Well, uh, are you also faculty or just, so you're far, advisors and faculty, great. So what's important to know from an advisor perspective is that Banner has the number one degree evaluation tool out there called DegreeWorks. So a student, as they come in a first day of class, they'll understand every class that they need to take. The advisor will understand at the same time. They'll be seeing both sets of information in real time. Um, the advisor will be able to, with the press of a couple buttons, understand everything there is to know about the student. And he holds on the account, the contact information, the schedule. Um, and it will really allow an advisor to quickly analyze and quickly work with students to provide you the best pro possible product. Um, in terms of uh, what we can do with advisors, you can see advising listings, you can look up classes, you can search catalogs. Uh, across the Toro system, advisors work in different ways. Sometimes there's just advisors, sometimes there's advisors that are also faculty members. Sometimes there's a one-to-one -one relationship between advisors and 
And then in some of our campuses, um, we have, you can go see any advisor you want whenever you want. So it's important that we remain flexible in being able to set this up, and we can. And based on your school and your setup, that's how we'll have set this up. But going forward, if we evolve, and again, not only here, but across the system, we can change it any which way that we like. Um, this is one of the quick, quick screens that, um, that Jennifer wanted me to show, and I think it really does tell from the, from the perspective of, a, of an advisor. Look how clean that is. Um, you can see the student ID, you can see their PIN number for registration, the, the, the student information by clicking on the, on the tab, the whole degree evaluation, the transcript, the test scores, the whole, all in one place. I think that's pretty clean, I think it's pretty nice, I think the advisors are going to really like it. Um, in terms of training opportunities, um, this is a tentative training date, April 6th. Uh, what I want to say about training from a faculty and staff perspective, don't pay attention to what's on the slide. If you ever need more training, whether it be group training, individual training, we will be dealing with that uh, in student services. We'll be happy to help you. We'll be happy to set up additional events for you uh, anytime uh, that you like. But we're hoping from a student perspective and also from a faculty perspective that this is basically very, very simple and intuitive. Um, you should be able to go on this, similarly go on many other tools, technological tools out there, and be able to understand it on your own. Um, I think that's the power of this. If you have any questions, uh, concerns, we have built a non-stop, David talked about a non-stop help desk call center, and we've partnered with our folks, with the student services folks at NYMC. Um, we have one email address, one phone number that you can send any of your questions or your concerns, uh, and you'll get a ticket. We, we, we promise a 24-hour, uh, one business day uh, response time to your ticket. We also feel that um, being able to provide this online presence for you anywhere you are in conjunction with the on-the-ground presence will really separate the service that the institution is able to provide you. So if you ever have any questions or any concerns or you have any, any type of student-related issues, you can email nonstop at Toro.edu. Uh, Toro I'm going to take a few minutes and any questions out there? Anybody curious about anything? Um, is this something that uh, you like? Is this something that um, you, you're excited about? Or? There are, um, in, in, in PeopleSoft, there were certain reports and I assume there, there will eventually be replicated or something similar in, in the banner system. That would be of use to advisors. For example, a, a report that listed um, all uh, an advisor's advisees with some information about them all at once, what courses they were taking that semester or their grade and so on. Will, will this system have a place for those reports to be available not just individual students, but sure. But possibly. So the institution has a tool called Cognos that we've also um, implemented that will be able to do all of our, our individual report writing. What we've done is we've gone around from campus to campus um, and we've talked to all the folks about getting base level reports that we need. One of the things that you mentioned that I like is the fact that you have advisor reports that you think are beneficial to your community. I'm willing to bet that those advisor reports are also beneficial to other people across the system. So what we're trying to do is trying to figure out what the top level reports are. We can always build and continue to add more, but also share those reports with everybody so that you know, we can basically continuously have a, an environment where uh, information is flowing back and forth and that we're not writing the same report 17 different ways uh, across the system. So the answer, the, 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 the short answer to your question is yes. Report writing is going to take time to build out. We're going to certainly start by putting in the reports that we need to, you know, handle the, uh, the state and the, and the federal uh, requirements in terms of the various things that we have to report on. But, uh, but the answer to your question is yes. And then, and then the um, a similar kind of questions. You, you, you mentioned uh, publications, and then I, the publications I saw were things like catalogs and sort of you know, fixed publications. But but there are other things which I thought you mentioned, things like uh, minutes from Senate meetings or, or council meetings and stuff. Will, will, will there be a place for those to appear here, where faculty or uh, faculty in this case could could find them through the? Absolutely, and one of the things that we kind of want to talk about, a little lead into this, is we're, we've established a governance committee, 
uh, across the system with NYMC uh, representation. Um, and I think it's important that every community, in terms of, for example, this faculty population might want to post different things than the, the faculty pop population in Nevada or California. So the answer is yes, we encourage that, and we're hoping to actually create an environment that fosters continuously building those things. So yes, we want that to happen, and we want to, um, we want to get that going soon. As you saw, it went pretty quickly, but each campus has its own area that it can do its own thing in and decide what it wants in those publication areas. And it can restrict it by, by who they want to see it. So if a student would see one thing, faculty would see something else, and so on and so forth. Uh, the governance thing, what we're trying to do is, is to, when ideas come up that may have cross system implications, um, we would kind of raise that up and see what we can do for, for, for everybody. Uh, Oasis is a good example also, the, the uh, third year uh, of the, the rotation marching system. We have, there are five medical schools, uh, uh, this is on the allopathic one, we have four DO schools. Everybody has the rotation matching issue, and maybe we can find a common solution. So that's, that's part of what, uh, what we want to kind of do. And also, uh, just to get into the reports, you know, one of the things we want to try and avoid, uh, we try and enhance, so that we do, is, and, and Matt alluded to it, different schools have been used to doing things very uh, di differently, frankly. But as I think we did with the functional, uh, I think we could probably do that with reports. We did it with some of the students, uh, some of the student services operational reports. New York Medical College had its list of reports. And, and each of our student services areas around the system had their own reports that they, that they liked. We had everybody sit down and basically come and cut a list, I think it was like 70 reports, yeah. to a list of 15 reports that everybody could use and met everybody's needs. So I think that kind of thinking um, will, be, will be really good uh, as we work. I think in addition to that, um, in terms of sharing best practices, um, the advising set up here uh, might be something, again, that we uh, might be lacking on on different campuses. Um, and so some of the reports that you have right now that I'm very interested in, they might not exist someplace else. So we'll be very eager to get those out. Also, another thing that you could do to help us out is if you really like what's going on here, and actually you get on there and you see this as a seamless experience, we can continue to build that for you, but we need feedback. Um, there are things called workflows or regarding automated processes like that are paper processes now that we want to continue to build. If there are processes as it pertains to NYMC that we want to bubble up to the top, you know, let your students folks know, let your HR folks know or your, or your finance folks know and that will bubble up through the governance committee so every year we put together the project plan of what we're going to tackle next, we make sure that that's, all, that's on a list and we want to put it on a list of most impactful first. So we do need your feedback on that. And again, that's um, your, your, your constructive criticism, but also what's working uh, well for you. Um, I, think that, um, I think it's very important that we have an open dialogue and we're honest with ourselves about you know, what we need to continue to improve upon, but also how far we've come and what, what you have now that you either didn't have or that we can continue to build out. I'm going to turn that over to Jennifer. <laughs> um, so we have a new calendar on the website. It's through Trumba, and yes, you can add events, and um, it's actually really helpful. And then we also have a new calendar for our students and the students that are in the Thank you for the question. Thanks, Jennifer. So, so you know how at the end of pharmaceutical advertisements, there's always that fast. Uh, <laughs> 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 so I'm going to make a fast disclaimer. Uh, and, and that is that, as Matt said, you know, it's starting to roll out on the 4th, uh, or yeah, uh, on the 4th, uh, and, and moving forward. Um, things will be added over time, and so we, we will have a, a major communication effort over the next few months. As Matt said, if you're not, if you don't hear what you, what you want, if you don't know, if you're not getting the information you need, or if it's not working where you want it to work, let us know. But I, but I want to just, but it is going, some of the process is going to be rolled out over time, uh, and I ask 
then you do complain if you need to, but give us, but also kind of a little bit of goodwill to kind of let us get over the hump. Uh, we, 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 we implemented the financial, new financial system. It took a few weeks for it to kind of shake out. So we implemented the new HR care system. It took a few weeks for it to shake out. This, we hope not. There was a tremendous amount of effort went in. But there's a chance that it may take a few weeks for it to shake out and a few, and a few months for things to, to kind of be integrated and roll in. So just bear with us. We do want to hear from you, but also just a bit of good and uh, we'll, we'll go a long way for all of us. So I appreciate it very much. Anybody else? We really thank you for your time. Thanks for coming out. Appreciate it.